Let's see the top three features in In The Hoop Designer software. First, the In The Hoop Wizard. It's the easiest way to get started. Click the In The Hoop Wizard icon and click the Open option to select from hundreds of built-in templates to customize. Scroll through and select the project that you want to create. I'm going to work with the zipper bag and this zipper bag for an 8x8 hoop. Select it, click OK. Here you can enter the text that you want on your project. Click Apply once you've changed the text. And now click on the image of the design and then click the Library button and you can choose from hundreds of built-in designs to customize your project. Locate the design, select it, click OK. If you want to rotate the design, you can choose that here. I'm going to just leave it and click OK. The wizard has built-in instructions for every project. To view the instructions, click the Instructions button. The instructions will open in your browser, and you can view them on screen, or you can print them. Once you're done viewing the instructions, you can either minimize to refer to later, or you can click the close. I'm going to minimize my instructions. Now my design is ready to stitch. I click apply to make sure all the settings have changed, then click OK. Now I just need to save my file to my embroidery type for my embroidery machine. To save your design, click File, Save As, choose the location to save your design, and give it a name. Don't forget to choose your embroidery machine format from the drop-down list. Then click Save. Now you're ready to take it to your embroidery machine. Let's start a new workspace and talk about the next feature in In The Hoop Designer software. The next feature I want to discuss is double-sided applique. This is a feature used for creating tags and coasters with a satin edge. So let's go to the outlines and choose a shape. I'm going to go to the borders and choose border 16 and click OK. Now that my shape's on the screen, I can set the size in my transform tab and I want mine to be a three and a half inch coaster size and click apply. Now I'm going to choose my options for my applique and choose double sided applique. Now this fun little shape is a coaster that's ready to be saved and stitched out and will have a finished backing. If you want to add personalization, we can do that as well. So let's choose our text tool and add a monogram. Click on your work surface. Over in your text properties area, enter your monogram and click apply. Now I'm going to set the size. Click apply and move that into my coaster. Now that's a little big, so I'm just going to use the shapes around the outside to resize this proportionally. So just click and drag to make it smaller. Now I'm going to select everything, choose my select tool, select everything, and center. Now I've got a fun little monogrammed coaster. I do need to make sure that my text stitches out before I apply the backing. 
So in your sequence view over here, I'm going to click and drag my monogram and place it after the second run stitch. Now I'm all set to save this and head to my embroidery machine. One more step and I can make this either a gift tag or a luggage tag. From my buttonhole options, I'm going to click the drop down and select, choose the eyelet and click OK, and then click on my workspace to add my eyelet. Now I've got a luggage tag or a gift tag that I can easily stitch with my embroidery machine. Let's start a new workspace. The third top feature is the eraser tool. The eraser tool is great for any time you need to leave an opening for turning. So let's make an in the hoop stuffy. So I'm going to select my shape and in the animals category of my outlines, I'll choose this teddy bear shape. Click OK. And now let's set the size. So in my transform area, I can create uh, any size teddy bear that I want to fit in my hoop. I'm going to have it fit in my eight inch hoop. So I'm going to set the height to eight inches. So now all I need is an opening to turn my two layers. So with my teddy bear, I just need a run stitch to seam my two layers together. And I'm going to use my eraser tool to just erase an opening for my teddy bear. Go back to my select tool and then click to turn this into a run stitch. Now I can hoop two layers of fluffy fabric and stitch the shape of my bear and turn them through the opening. If you want to add details to your, your bear like eyes or a mouth, we do have some really nice built-in shapes. So under the charm options, I'm going to choose these cute little faces here. So even the cute or the smile, I'm going to go with the smile and click OK and put that for my uh, teddy bear face. And then I'm going to ungroup this so that I can move the little nose or mouth down just a bit. So, and I think that's pretty cute. Now I do want that to stitch first and I want that to stitch on my base layer of fabric. So now instead of hooping two layers of fabric, I would just hoop one layer of fabric, stitch the face, and then I want to move my outline to stitch last. So click and drag, and then I'll place a second layer right sides together before stitching that outline of my teddy bear to make my shape. And I have my opening for turning. Hope you enjoyed these top features of In The Hoop Designer software.